Hey, what's going on guys? It's Two Shot here from Two Shot Gaming, and today we're doing tech tips. Today's tech tips, we're gonna be looking at the EVGA 850 watt power supply. It's a gold rated. So this is a pretty nice, quiet, efficient power supply. So let's get going. All right guys, now let's see what's in the box. There's one you someone like, so long a little bit right here. Very, very just over to that. Makes it easy. All right, going back over to the side. Then we're gonna try to open the box somehow. Go again. That's what we open these. Oh my god. All right, nice and easy, nice and easy. There we go. So as you can see, this little flap right there open up. And take a nice look inside. As you can see, we open it up. Nice, beautiful power supply. EVGA really takes care of their stuff. These are nice, simple, sleek, very protective. We got this nice. Little Velcro bag to hold all the extra wires because believe me guys, there's gonna be a lot of wires in here. You're gonna have a lot of extra stuff. So let's check out this wire. They got like a little box here that looks really cool. You know, just to throw stuff in. There's a way of packing. Let's put this aside. We'll look at the power supply in a second. Well, what do we got in here? Let's see what are these Velcro straps. Very nice. See, I like the way EVGA like they go a little extra instead of just giving you simple wire ties. They give you a nice little. A nice little run of how many's in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight Velcro straps. Very nice. Makes it a lot easier. Makes a lot cleaner power supply. Clock cleaner look with your PC build. Um. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Let's open this bad boy up. We don't need to keep the plastic for that. I want to keep those in there, but this not. Okay. This is a little um, jumper. So when you're starting up. You can turn on and off the power supply really quick, the 24 pin. You pop it in there, turn it on and off. It's good for like if you're doing water cooling when you're trying to um, do the pump so you don't have to hook it up to like this here motherboard and you keep posting and stopping it going. So you just power the pump a little bit. That's really cool, that's sticking ahead. Very good move on that. Power supply cable, you know, good. Not, you know, nothing crazy, but a very good solid power supply, very thick gauge. I don't know if it's a gauge on it, probably somewhere. But a nice thick gauge on it. And then, oh my god, the wires, boys. I'm liking this already. There was, I heard there was a model I was looking for it. I couldn't find the EVJ one that had um, some of these in red cable, like cable sleeves. What would have been worked out great for my build, but everything's in black. It is, it is a beautiful black, too. We got the 24 pin connector here. This is nice. If you guys can see this, I like how they did this. Let me get um, let me get my like, yeah, I guess we'll just do a 24 pin one because you know we just gotta see one. I don't want to make too big of a mess of this because I'm not ready to do the build yet. To do the build, if you guys want to see the build, it will be coming soon. So if you want, leave some comments. Tell me stuff you want to see in the build, and I can go over it. See, I like this kind of sleeve. Like some people individually sleeve each one. Sometimes that's okay. I like this. It's a nice black simple run. You know, they give you on the end, they don't go all the way to the end, so you can actually still bend it. So because most power supplies goes, you know, you have to bend it. I, I'm I'm sure there's a couple that are like this, but you still have to make that bend. Now if this is all the way up here, that bend's gonna be like like that where you put it in. It's not gonna look nice, but you can get a nice, pretty tight bend, you know, so you can go right into your power supply just like that. Really nice. And you got like, it's all, look at that, all the way to the end, all the way black, every single one. Very beautiful. You don't have like the yellow, blue, white wires all over the damn place. Uh, you know, I don't know. You tell me. Is that a pain in the ass or what? I hate when you, you spend the money and like at least power supplies are getting it. You don't have to go out and buy like tons and tons of stuff. Even even Jay, they do have um, kits. We can buy a kit like this that has tons of stuff in there. You have all your normal things. Let's go over. Um, they have. I'll put it on the, the thing. All the all the. Um, they even have. Oh, nice. They even have. Um, like the old school. Like um, I forgot what these wires are called. Like the four pin power supplies. They're, they're old, but um, you need them sometimes. Like I need them when I put my light kit in. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And that's gonna be coming up in the video. And when you can see, you can check that out right here your little box eventually and you guys can check that out all 
right, now let's take a look at the power supply. Man, this thing is huge. This is very nice. See, it keeps nice, you know, nice construction. Keeps good, takes good care of your power supply to take good care of you. It's very important to have a good power supply. You never want to see that on your power supply. This is what feeds all the power, nice clean power. Like, I would say, you know, sometimes you have bronze if you get a real cheap machine, but you want to go with at least a gold power supply. 650, 750, 850. Um, they have, I think they got up to 1600 in this version, which is a very, very cool. You got the book here, I'll tell you a little bit about it. There's really, like these books for, like, um, the Super, Super Nowhere series, there's really not nothing you really need to know. Like everything you can read off the back of the box. But, um, nice case for it. I, I like that they put this in there, because, like, you never know when you're going to switch your, switch your power supply out and then have one on the side. So now that you see you have one on the side, you can put it in something. It's, it's really cool because when you do this kind of stuff, you're switching a lot of stuff out. Now we have the supernova. What I like about this is that uh, it's got a very strong 12-volt um, reel. The 12-volt reel on this is very, very strong. What you see here is like you see all the connections. What I like about this is that um, they label a uh, CP1, uh, VGA1. I, like It's really cool. It kind of helps you like with a little guide if you're new kind of doing it. And, like where to put the stuff. It's pretty simple. Like, you know, when you have your plugs, you know where to go because that's what how many pins you got. But it's really cool they just put that there, just a, like a little guy to kind of help you out. Now, um, other things on this is really cool. They also have an eco button. The eco button right here, this eco button basically tells you like, when you turn the eco button on, when it goes up to like, I think it's like not 40 something degrees Celsius, 43, 45 degrees Celsius, it'll tell you when, um, the fan will come on. It won't come on other than that. Only when it needs it. It has like that ramp up power that when it needs it, it turns on so you get like really nice quiet performance at it on low loads or what it's idle. It's in like no sound, which is perfect because when you have a little load on it, say you're doing some light recording on YouTube, it's like say for me, I won't have the sound of the fans running. Like that, and I think that's the same thing when my new graphics cards come in from EVGA. And that video would be right here. You'll see that very soon. If it's not up there right now, it'll be there in a window. You click on it and check that out. It's a really cool graphics card. 90. Coming very soon. Um, what else we got here? We got the power. I like What I like about it is that you got a full grill. There's a full grill on this that is just total airflow. The fan's a 140 millimeter fan. Takes up like the whole case. Very nice high efficiency fan. It's itself, it's just look, it's a beautiful power supply. Like to have this shown in your case, very, very good idea. You know, like, you're not gonna mind. If it's in there like this, you can flip it upside down, it's nice, sleek, and clean. It's just a beautiful thing. I'm probably gonna have mine mounted like this on the bottom, but I get the I get the logo that'll be showing in my case. So that's nice and nice and clean looking logo, if it does even show. I'm not even sure through the window. But um, I love the power supply. It's got a lot of great features. So in closing, this power supply is great. It's you're not going to go wrong getting an EVGA power supply. The Supernova series, the gold standard, you're getting, you're getting a lot of efficiency out of these things. They're almost like, when you get up to higher ones, you're, they're pretty close to platinum in some cases. They're just under it. So it's going to work out good for you. Definitely check them out. I'll leave links in the description for you guys. If there's anything you want reviewed or anything you want me to talk about, just leave comments. I'll be more than happy to share and help out and do whatever you guys need. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like more tech tip videos by Two Shots Gaming. Thank you guys so much. Peace.